Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm reacting to The Masked Singer Season 11, Episode 5. Alright. And one of my friends named Terrell um, is going to join me and react to it with me. Um, once he joins, I will let him in. I was like, yeah. Um, but he did not join yet, so, yeah. Okay, it's... Okay, starting. was currently on that. Oh, my, my, um... It's good that my um internet's good today. Okay, sorry guys, it's just another ad, but hold on. I'm a bit behind, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. Singer, Animal Control, and Family Guy. The Mass Singer has always been your one-stop shop for celebrity sleuthing. Over the last three weeks, three groups of mass superstars have made headlines competing for the Golden Mask Trophy. And already, we've uncovered three top secret identities. Now we're sticking with Group C, and we're following their every move until they crown a group champion. Plus, the exclusive scoop on the first plot twist of the season. The Wild Card! Come on! Don't touch that remote. Turn him off. It's Mad Singer TV theme night. Come on. And it starts right now. Just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was fast. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship set ground on the shore of this uncharted desert island. With Gilligan, oh my god, the skipper, too. Let's be the millionaire and his wife, the movie star, the professor, and Mary Ann. Dear Gilligan, so oh my god, wow, give it up for him, y'all. Panel, time to disembark. Head on back to land. What's up, Gilligan? He's the millionaire. Welcome to the Mass Singer. Crank up the volume, grab some popcorn, and settle in for a night of unforgettable TV show themes. And it wouldn't be the Mass Singer without a twist. Our first wild card of the season is here, ready to snatch that remote and steal the show. Wow. Let's go. Are you excited for a night of TV magic? Yes, I am. Sounds like it. Let's get this thing started. Clock is up first. Let's go down memory lane with her and find some clues along the way. I had the time of my life singing on Billy Joel night. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. This queen has arrived at the mass singer. And I'm making every second count on this stage. In my life, I've had my fair share of ups and downs. Just like any good TV series, I've laughed and I've cried. And thank goodness, I've always been renewed. But I think it's my positive outlook that's carried me season to season. When I was broke, hey, I appreciated the free things in life. When my car didn't start, what a beautiful day for a walk. Oh, Motor. Maybe like Motor City? And even though my marriages didn't work out, something great came from those relationships. My Ooh. beautiful children. Aww. Same. <laughs> oh my god. Right, there will always be good times and bad. 
And now, let's keep the good times rolling all the way to the Group C finale. I like clock because I like to have a good time. Oh okay. my god. Oh, by the you way, guys, so I'm not point coming point anymore because you don't get in, so. <laughs> I love this. In a time you need a payment. In a time you need a In a time you're off the mind. Not getting hassle, not getting hustle. Keeping your head above water. Making a way when you can. Temporary layoffs. Needs the credit involved. He's good, though. Oh, I'm just looking out of the window. Yes, queen. Watching the earth fall grow. And I'm thinking how it all looks so hang me down. <laughs> yes, it does. But I'm keeping my head up my bottom. Making a way when I take temporarily off. Easy credit ripples. I still think this is Thelma and Houston. Yeah! Wow! Bravo! Wow! Bravo! Bravo! Temporary layoffs! I mean, oh. yes! Yeah. That was amazing! What a perfect choice to open up TV night. Yes, huh? for sure! We were all looking at each other like, are we hearing this for real? Is this a record? Well, it's something about, you know, when you hear that voice that just sends chills up your yes. spine. Yeah. It just comes from yeah. the heavens and the mountaintops and yes. the lightning bolts. And Ow! That was the church clock. Time is indeed. And speaking of time, it's time for a clue, right? Yeah. Yes. Please welcome from the love boat, Jill Whalen. I actually have no idea who that is. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Vicky. Good to see you. I'm good, everybody. Hello. We love you, Vicky. Wow. I love you, Gilligan. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. So cool. Well, Clock, I mean, what can you tell us about this nautical clue? Well, love and boat. Two things that combine to make a hit. <gasps> Something I know firsthand. Wow, that's a pretty good one. I, that's all you get. That's, that's all we get. That's all you get. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Thank you for Thank your you. help. Thank you. Give it up Thank you. Wow. All right, panel. Thank you so Ooh, much. That was a good one. Something about making a hit. Does that give you guys anything? Uh, you know, last time there were clues about disco balls and we were right. getting this feeling about this legendary singer from the disco era. But the love boat clue triggered something because she was on the love boat and she has a song called I Never Knew Love Like This Before. Mm. I think this could be Stephanie Mills. Wow, oh, that's a great guess. guess. That's a good guess. I like it a lot. But do you know who played Isaac, the bartender's love interest on the love boat? Who? Debbie Allen. Oh, oh good. Oh, I know, good guess. I know. Good guess. And you guys, last time we saw a clue, there was like a Golden Globe. She won the Golden Globe for fame. Yeah. That's good. I love that. I like that, too. One of the greatest choreographers in history. Yeah. She's confident, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, these are all great guesses. All right, Ken, who are you feeling? Well, you know, last time I guess Diana Ross, I mean, I, but right now, based on the TV show, Good Times, maybe someone who played Penny on Good Times. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my. 
I honestly Ten. think I tried. This could be. Don't, don't say it. The clock. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. The don't clock say it. is Janet Ken. Jackson, oh. and I'll tell you. Oh what. my God! No. Nope. Okay. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't like. I don't like this energy. Turn him off. <laughs> Turn him off. You know what? With all the right, you know, energy, I'll go back off. to Diana Ross. Sorry, I'll go back to <laughs> Diana Ross. That's a better guess. <laughs> okay. Love boat, baby love, love child, love hangover. He's still going? But to me, <laughs> Janet or Miss Jackson, if you're not. Oh, my God. He's going with Janet Jackson. He's, he's going insane. with Janet Jackson. He's going with Janet Jackson. All the clues line up with Diana Ross. I get it. It's amazing. But you know what? Because of this energy, this Janet Jackson, because you're nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're nasty to me. Guys, I had a nap and everything, and you're still I'm going. So he sorry. is nasty. But oh obviously, Clock, we know that you are a legend and yeah. icon. We love you on this show. And yep. we love your performance. So amazing. Yeah. Giving us that good times classic. It was truly incredible. Now spin off backstage, and we will see you soon for the vote. Temporary layoff. No, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. It's really not Janet Jackson. Welcome back to the only place where everyone knows your name but has no idea you're in the room. It's the mass Singer. Poodle Moth is next. Poodle Moth. In, in our insect friend. Okay, no Moth. spoilers allowed, but try and spot the clues. Yeah, I'll say, I'm going to say it now. I'm not the biggest fan of Poodle Moth, but her voice is good, but I just really don't think it's the right song for her. Like, I think she is... She's gonna be more that was one of the best owl. vocals I've ever, ever heard. In my life, I was raised to know one thing. Sometimes the ones you love most leave. Without so much as a letter. My dad left a hole in my heart that I'd never have filled. I'd send him letters that were always returned to sender. With each return stamp breaking my heart. If that one person whose only job is to love you won't, then who will? Oh, wow. Until one day, I decided to write a letter to myself. I needed to realize I was capable of being loved the way that I deserved. I've learned to use my talents to help other kids who are looking for their answers, just like I was. Firefly, Firefly. maybe it's the name of a song. I'm writing it is the name of the song, actually. And tonight, I've chosen a TV theme song that reminds me of the beauty of what's still to come. Because there's still so much unwritten. I hope this is a TV song, man. That's lovely. I absolutely love that. Come on. I am I knew it. I can't read my mind. I'm on the side. I'm just beginning. The pens in my head. Ending on fire. I mean, she's not bad. Daily, I can play pages before. Open up the dirty wheel. A voice is so pure. I need the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance. Wow. So close to the low of safety. When she picked a really good song. I break tradition. Sometimes my tries are outside the line. We've been conditioned to not make mistakes. But I can't live that way. Yeah. At the blank page before you open up the dirty window, let the sun illuminate. Obviously, I like this report coming on the first one. So close, you can almost taste it. Release your inner vision. 
Oh, very. Okay, Peter Ball. Okay, Peter Ball. I do like that. Peter Ball. I love it. Me too. Panel, talk to our Peter Ball. A lot of people can get on this stage and they can just sing beautifully, but you you connect with our hearts. And I loved your story about you writing a letter to yourself. There is nothing bigger and better than loving yourself first. Yes. Amen. And we have fallen in love with you. You should feel so proud and confident from here on out. You yep. cry. Wonderful. And it is time for a clue. We have two special guests to help us out with this oh, one. Nice. Y'all ready? Yep, too. From the hills. Ooh. Oh my it's God. Heidi and Spencer Pratt. What's happening, gang? Never heard of them. Heidi yeah. and Spencer are in the building. Heidi! Heidi! All right, guys, what clue do you have for us? Well, that was the theme song from our show, The Hills, which was all about Hollywood It Girls. Yes. So another show of famous girls, the Gilmore Girls. Ooh, hit it, choir. <laughs> no way. Wow. Amazing. That was amazing. I have a very special connection to Gilmore Girls that hits very close to mm. home. Home. Wow. All right. Well, thank you, choir, for that amazing rendition. And thank you to Heidi and Spencer for bringing us the clue. Can I just say, being a newbie on this show, yeah. this is one of the craziest, most amazing shows I've ever been a part of. I <laughs> yeah, can't this believe is, this. This is right? really like, the nice. surprises. Yeah. Just keep come, just keep yeah. them coming. The surprises. Yep, just keep them the coming. Movies. That was a yep. good one. Just keep Panel. them coming. You guys picking up on coming, anything? Man. I mean, I'll, I'll just start. I mean, yeah. I, I think. You know, yeah. someone who has a special connection to Gilmore Girls, someone who's an actress, someone who has amazing voice. Melissa McCarthy oh. was Suki St. James on the go. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, not a lot of booze. Listen, you guys, as her cousin, uh, right. she can sing. That's why yes. Little Mermaid, she could go. Well, Ginny, is this your cousin? Well, I mean, I like your guest, Ken, yeah. but I don't think it's Missy. I'm oh. sorry. I just went for the more obvious one, which was the Gilmore girl herself, Lauren Graham. Oh, that's a good yeah. guess, Lauren Graham, yep. The drama and tragedy mask, because she is an actress. The letter clue, because she's a published author. So I yeah. think this could really be actually the Gilmore Girl herself. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. That's a, that's a great one. Iconic. I agree with you. I'm thinking that this is an actress. And this actress I'm thinking of is from Nashville. And we saw the Grand Old Opry in an earlier clue. Yeah. She's also best friends with Gilmore Girl star mm. Lauren Graham. Ah. I think with that the, uh, this might be Connie Britton. Oh. oh. That'd be amazing. Listen, Poodle Moth, no matter who you are, we think you are so incredibly talented. We love you. And thank you for giving us a heartfelt performance. We do love the Poodle Moth. Such a glowing performance. Thank you, Nick. I feel Men in Black come is out in Poodle Moth out. Volume two. I'm going to be mad. Obviously. Lizard. Who is this lively reptile? Before he jumps out of the mystery machine, here are some clues to help you crack the case. I really turned it up last time. Up to now. And that SmackDown got my heart racing. I know that voice. Yeah, this is iconic. This is iconicness. Loser! Now, being here on TV theme night is taking me back to my beginning. 
as a little lizard, I love cartoons so much that I spent mm. all my Ooh, days drawing. I got so good, I was offered a dream job at a huge animation studio. Yeah, the mouse was chasing this lizard pretty Ooh. hard. Oh, wow. Any things like that? He has multiple talents. It was a great opportunity, and my dad begged me to take it. But deep down, I knew I wanted to be a performer. So I put down my pencil and took the riskier road to stardom. And my dad was shook. Uh -oh. But that lit the fire to prove to him that I could pull it off. And when I eventually became one of the most recognizable reptiles on the planet, yep. he was so proud. Let's go. Maybe he has a country connection. Yeah. Now, I might not draw animation, but I sure do draw in the crowd. And tonight, I'm singing a song from a cartoon classic. Let's Scooby do this thing. Yeah, come on, Scooby Doo. Have you heard of Scooby Doo? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? As I grew up with it. Like, come on. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? We need some help from you now. Hey! Come on, Scooby Doo. I see you pretending you got a slip up. But you're not fooling me, cause I can see the way you shake and shiver. You know you got a mystery to solve, so Scooby Doo, be ready for your past. Don't mind my dad. And Scooby Doo, if you come to you gotta have yourself a Scooby Snack. So I got my internet is getting a bit slow, so hold on. We do, we do. Where are you? We do, do. Where's the slave go? The lizard gave us a classic. Yeah, so if you live, Mom, so I'm going to say. I mean, it's the smoothest lizard I have ever, ever heard. I have never heard Scooby Doo that swaggy in, I think, yes, forever. It was it's Swaggy Doo. That was Swaggy Doo. Swaggy Doo. <laughs> but you did the little shiver with the knees. You know, you brought out the personality. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shall we get a clue? Yeah. Yeah. I love me some clues. Let's get a clue. Come on out. Zoinks. Oh, I didn't even see Scooby in the in the mystery oh, machine. Oh my god. No, that's too cute. Okay. That is so cool. Scooby. Oh my god. Scooby. Oh my god. Scooby's so cute. Scooby is scared of the lizard. I don't yeah. blame him. Yeah, Scooby was like, there was not a lizard out here during rehearsal. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, my goodness. Lizard, yes. what can you tell us about this Scooby clue? A dog actually helped me reach an even bigger audience. Mm. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, Snoop Dogg. A dog. Like maybe Snoop a Snoop Dogg. Dog. Yeah, maybe, maybe Snoop Dogg. That's a good clue. Well, thanks to Scooby <laughs> Doo, everybody. Big fan. So what you guys got? Let me tell you something. I said it last time and I will say it again. All signs point to Michael Bivens. No. The dog helped me find a bigger audience. Michael Bivens has a documentary, The Hustle of Michael Bivens. Snoop Dogg was on the documentary. And the brand new toy makes me think of new edition because it is you. It's Michael Bivens. Oh my God. That's a good guess. I think this could be Ray J. 
No. And let me tell you why. The clues go on. I honestly feel like okay, Rob is going to some money. Clocks. Yeah. He has a song called Wait a Minute. Mm. Uh, but the biggest one that made me go, it's got to be him. He's cousins with Snoop Dogg, you guys. Uh, what? That is true. Uh, that is true. Uh, 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 that is true. Uh, uh, that's a that's a fact. Jenny's good with the clues. I'd like to think Jenny's one of the smartest ones on this panel, but I'm gonna stick to my instinct. You and I. I think we last it out. time yeah. in the SmackDown, Rita and I both heard the same thing, and we yep. we started looking runs. at each other like, do you is, do you think you know who that is? I think I know who that is the vocal. Yeah, it's the so vocal sort of distinctive. Right? Yeah, and also if this is who we think it is. I might completely fan out right now. Wow. But let me get to the clues. And Robin, you can help me out with this okay. one. So the stage clue, right? The dog helped him reach a bigger audience. Okay. He starred in a movie called Snow Dogs. Mm. Yeah. And when I, when I heard him sing, it sounded just like... <laughs> <laughs> Expert analysis, Robin. Wow. But then the cowboy boot... Come on, finish this one. The well, cowboy boot. The, well, yeah, it's because when I saw him dance, he dances just like that. Wow. <laughs> continue. <laughs> continue. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't care about the wow. clues. I know who that is. <laughs> okay, so the cowboy boot, he did a song, Wild Wild West, with Will Smith. Mm. And he's got this ad lib, and he goes, Yeah! yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you ready? You ready? Three, okay. two, one, one two, two, three. three let's go. go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> let's go. How amazing would that be if the one and only Cisco was here? But it's we Cisco, definitely yeah. had That's an good. awesome performance. So good. Y'all give it up one yeah, more time for the lizard. Oh, Men in black help the lizard out. Yeah. Lizard, lizard. He's shaking his tail leather. <laughs> Welcome back, Super Welcome back. Super Super Lion. 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 the final mission singer of the night. Woo! For the first time this season, release the wild card. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I love a wild card. Wow, this is a big deal. Look at that. Mark, look at that. Why would you see some good Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? The lion. This guy's insane, man. That is a great costume. That's cool. That's my be my favorite costume. He's very regal. Wow. I've never been hugged by a lion before. <laughs> Come on over here, Sir Lion. Be careful, Nick. Be careful. It's a lion. No doubt. Who is Sir Lion? Pause and decode these clues. Every good night of television needs a twist. So what better role for me to play than the wild card? Mm. Like the king of the jungle, I come from a well-known pride, but never took it for granted. I jumped through hoops to become a ringleader in Hollywood, rubbing elbows with everyone from Tom Cruise to Ooh. Tom Hanks. Uh. But in show business, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. Mm. Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Maybe the comedian. Luckily, mm. lions are fierce, and I've landed on my feet no matter what this town throws my way. Rockefeller Plaza, 30 Rock. Maybe he's a nighttime host in New York. In Hollywood, success and struggle go together like a horse and carriage. Mm. Now get ready to fall in love with this lion. Come on, Sir Lion. Look how cool this looks. Oh, this is gonna be good. That is very cool. Love and marriage, love and marriage. Go oh, take I love this like song. a horse and carriage. This I tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other. I know that voice. Love and marriage, love and marriage. 
It's an institute you can't disparage. Ask the local gentry, and they will say it's elementary. Try, he sounds try, really familiar. He does, though. It's an illusion. Try, 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 and you will only come. Oh, oh, footwork, let's go. To this conclusion, love and marriage, love and marriage. Look together like a horse and carriage. Dad was told by mother, you can't have one, you can't have none. You can't have one without the other. That voice I'm so familiar with. That was actually very proper. It's a very recognizable voice. It is. Performance. I think I know it. That voice sounds really? recognizable. He did not. No I heard way. it in the voice. I think so. We didn't even get to that part yet. Let's talk to Sir Lion about his performance. I thought I heard an accent. I thought you might be from where I'm from. I agree. I, I agree. I thought I thought he came out very regal. You know, he very had an air, an air about him, something uh, very uh, confident. He was a star in his theater class his whole life. Or in his mom's living room. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Let's get a clue. Come on out. He's not Ruby. bad, though. Oh, my God. Go this What is that? Oh, it says co-star. Co-star. I wasn't in the cartoon, but I've co-starred on a different TV show with Betty Rubble. Betty Rubble? Okay, Betty Rubble was Rosie O'Donnell. Yes. Mm. So what you guys got? I kind of heard something in the voice, you know. I mean, we saw Anchor, so we're starting to think: could this be a uh, like an, an anchor of a news show? Yeah. You know what I mean? An anchor man. And it talks about being from a famous family, and a lot of people don't know this, but this guy's uh, mother was Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh wow! It doesn't get more regal than the Vanderbilts. Mm -hmm. I think that this is CNN's Anderson Cooper. That's a great guess. You know what? You just think really honestly when you combine the radio. And everything, Ooh. Ryan Seacrest. I feel yes. like this. This that feels like Ryan, cool. who's actually an anchor on E News, also for a brief, brief time on the Today Show. Not a well, bad guess. Not a bad guess. Who are you thinking, Rita? You know what, Jay? I actually think it's somebody that hosts and has their own TV show. The Anchor, one of my favorite shows, Below Deck. It's on Bravo. <laughs> I actually think this might be Andy Cohen. Good guess. It could, that's a very good guess. Who knows? Whoever it is, they're so good with people, right? Yeah, you can feel connected. like you're yeah. so good at Absolutely. connecting. And that was just so, so fun. And thank you. It was really great. Fantastic job. Let's keep it going, Sir Lion. Watch out, Mitch. Watch out. He's out for you. Men in black. Help him out. All right. Studio audience. And my bottom two is probably now, um, favorite singer of the night. Lion, the bottom two will face off in a pulse mounting smackdown. We're gonna tally the votes and we'll be right back after the break. So my bottom two is probably the lion, still really lion and uh definitely still lion. And maybe I don't know, maybe clock? I don't know, maybe clock. Okay, we're back. back. My bottom two is Shane Johnson. I, my the two singers with Peter the Moss least and the Lion. Heading and I think the, the Lion down. and Jimmy Fallon, honestly. I really do think the Lion and Jimmy Fallon. I don't know if he would do a shout, but you never know. I hate this part. This is a tough one. Yeah, because they're all so they're good. They're so yeah. good. Yeah. Oh. Ah, That'd be so lion. Lizard. What? Sir Lion. What? Wow, oh, Sir Lion. Sir Lion. And Clock. Congratulations, you guys. And stay head on back. 
Men in black, please help him out. Wow. That's what Linda just oh, getting disrespected at this point, bro. Oh, oh. Whoa. Wow. Look like at Lizard. I get to hear Lizard sing again. I'm in. Lizard and Sir Lion. You have one more opportunity to impress our panel. Oh, it's about to go down. Woo. Ready? It's SmackDown time. Let's go! In this corner, here to shed some skin in the game, it's Lizard. Woo! Love Lizard! Love you, Lizard. I love you, man. And in this corner, uncaged and ready to rip the competition to shreds, it's Sir Liar! Yes! Bring it! Lizard, you're up first, and we saved the best theme song for last. Oh, come on. Oh, what is it? What is it? Three, uh, two, let's go. One, SmackDown! Oh my god! Whoa. Wow! Our star! Put up in the soul, go away to peace, money, my name. If you can go save it on the night, if you get up and walk away, mm -hmm. come on. I stagger back to the underground, and the breeze blew by my head. Yeah, yeah. I remember throwing punches around and reaching from my chair, saying, "Who are you?" Hey, who are like, you? okay, I don't know. So right, he's like, I'm losing. I decided. This does not want to go home. Lunch a lion. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Okay. I woke up in a Soho doorway. A policeman knew my name. He said, you can go sleep at home tonight. If you can get up and walk away. Is that Demi Fallon? And the breeze blew back my hair. I remember hey, I got to around and reaching from my chair. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Who are you? Who, 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 who? Yeah. I mean, it's very easy. Let me go and look at that. Wow. Well, that is a song that we all know and love yes, yes we do so, theme song. this that's is amazing. That's the theme song yep. of our show yeah oh yeah uh, look at that guess what this is about don't eat him <laughs> don't eat him <laughs> so battle give us your thoughts on this smackdown yeah what i what i loved is that you know lizard is coming out there. he's got all the high energy all the moves he's giving it the soulful voice and then sir lion was taking it to shakespeare you know what i mean That's was, true. Yeah. yeah the lizard likes to play with the audience and yeah. sir lion likes to pull them in there you yes. go like a leo would well said all right world panel you know what time it is vote now for your favorite. I don't want to. It comes with the job, Rita. Oh. Who do you want to see move on in the competition? Is One it Lizard? Or is it gonna be Fur Lion? After the break, we find out who is rounding out the threes company in Group C series. Remind me to watch Next Level Chef tomorrow on Fox. So we have Welcome back. The singer taking the final spot in the Group C Finals is... I can't look. Oh my God, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh my God. Sir Lion. Well, also Sir Lion could be Michael Richard as well, maybe. We were firing him Michael Richard. The I would say. Congratulations, Lizard. You get to keep it on. Head on back. The Lizard has done it again. Lizard. And in black, help our Lizard out. 
keep it going for the lizard, y'all. So, Lion, we hate to see you go, but we can't wait to see who you are. Uh. Panel, we need your final guesses. I think I got a good feel about this. I, uh, he comes from a famous family. He's one of the most popular anchors on all of television. I think the Sir Lion is my man, Anderson Cooper. Well, my two guests are Jimmy Fallon. All right, who wants to go next? Well, the radio Michael clue Rachel. is because where he got his start. Sir Lion is Seacrest out. Oh, okay. not that bad. Thank you. Not that bad, but not. I'm going to stick with my guess. You know, he interviewed Seinfeld. The boat clue, below deck. This is Andy Cohen. All right. Wow. I like that guess a Good lot. Guess. Thanks, Jen. Um, but we've got 30 Rock is where yep. he shoots his talk show. Yep. He's interviewed Jerry Seinfeld, Rosie O. He was an anchor on Weekend Update. This has to be the lovely, talented Seth Meyers. Oh, good guess. Good guess. Really That's good a good guess. guess. All right, panel, let's it's see if not, it's like correct. Let's find out. Audience, you know the drill. Say it with me. Oh, take, take it, it off. Take 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 it off. I think we're going to be shocked. I think we're all wrong. Take it off. Please be Andy. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? My man! Right what? TV host, I don't even know who that is. No way! Billy! Oh, man. What? That is not what I was expecting. Billy Bush! <laughs> Jenny, you should have known that. I should have known that. <laughs> oh! Got him. Billy Bush is in the building, y'all. Wow. Thank you, folks. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you know everybody here, man. Yeah. So Oh, uh, yeah. Interviewed everybody. Billy, I had no idea you sing like this. I am not a great singer. You Listen, are a great singer. If you You're can't good. get him with the lips, get him with the hips. That's I tried right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A little bit. You know, don't look too closely. That's how I made it this far. Billy, your hips don't lie. I got to really tell you, don't. man, this is probably one of the cooler right. costumes that we've ever had. Yeah, yes. Billy. Oh, I'm wait, no, I do know who it is. Bridgerton, Thank you, sure. baby. You he get to talk to people Bush every single day, Billy. but you're anything you want to say, Bush. final words to the people at home. Right. Uh, if you've never done something that's a little on the scary side, like this is scary. Like, I, I, I true, uh, I'm shaking back there. <laughs> <laughs> say yes and do it. That's right. I had a ball. Thank you, guys. I love you. Cannon, I love you, my friend. You know I love you. It has been such a pleasure having you on the show. Let's give it up one more time for my man, Billy Bush. Next week, the Masked Singer gets steamy in the Group C Finals. Make sure you tune in for the Shower Anthems Night. But right now, put your hands together. Long. The artist Woo! formerly known as Sir Lion, Billy Bush. Love and marriage, love and marriage, <laughs> go together <laughs> like a horse and carriage. You do the single one. Sold by mother, you can't have one. Stay put, an all new episode of Animal Control is up next. You can't have one without the other. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this video. Also, I just want to say this. If I said in the beginning of the video, that's episode 5. I meant episode 4. That's my bad. But yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. That's it. Bye, y'all.